I wanted to show you my new um, log splitter. And uh, this is the boss. It's an 8 ton log splitter. As you can see, it's the ED8T20 log splitter. And we'll go through it. We'll unbox it. I didn't open it yet. I just had to check for damage uh, when it's shipped. And I just wanted to talk to you very briefly um, about buying a log splitter, what my experience was. <clears throat> I think when you're buying a log, a log splitter, you want to look for, you look online, you look on Amazon, uh, you know, you look at the reviews, maybe some are real, some are not. Um, then you look on YouTube, that'll, you know, give you some information. Um, one of the things I do is, of course, you comparison shop. I looked online and it was, it was going for usually around six fifty, and I'll put all the information, all the links uh, below so you don't have to really, uh, it'll just be easy for you to access. Um, I looked at Sears, Sears had actually a very good price on it. Basically, you want to buy something in general uh, at an off time, in other words, at a time when no one else is really needs it. I mean, I think it's, it's already mid-December, I think most people have bought their log splitters, so some of them are already on sale, they're moving forward towards, uh, I guess, spring already. And so I looked online, Sears had a good price, but then when I called them, they, they said that it was, um, you had to pay $160 extra shipping because it was heavy. So forget that. And then they said they would get rid of it if I, could, if I speak to a supervisor, but then they just, they disconnected me. So in any event, I moved on and I was looking at, I think it was um, Wood Splitters Direct. I'll put the link in online. They were very nice. Uh, the price of this unit uh, was... I was able to get it for, uh, it was five, they listed it at uh, $570. On Amazon, I think it was at like $615. But at this website, it was about $570. And, um, and then uh, they gave me a coupon. The coupon was um, BOSS10. It's B-O-S-S-10. And um, that gave me $10 off. So then it was $560 delivered. And uh, this is pretty heavy. It's about 200 pounds. Um, and I wanted to go through, uh, I looked around at different log splitters. Generally they come, I'm looking for electric because uh, we, I live in New York, I have one fireplace, and I'm looking just for something. In other words, when I, when I buy firewood, split wood, it comes, uh, you, you pay approximately $200 for a cord of wood, and uh, so you get, it, it's hit or miss. A lot of it is, a lot of times you get wet wood, it's just not dry enough, partially dried. Um, they short you because they think you don't know about the, how much a, a cord is. You have to be on top of them. I mean, it's just a whole aggravation. So uh, my gardener said he could get me logs for free. So hence, uh, I decided to get the log splitter. Um, so I looked online and uh, I was looking at another one. I think it was Powerland or Powerhouse. I'll put the links in um, as well. Basically, that, was, uh, that, that looked like a good unit as well. Um, but what I noticed about the boss is you should really read the warranties. It's a two-year warranty on the product, which is for a residential user, and that's really a lot. I mean, this is really a, this is a, a, a tool. I mean, you could break it, I, I mean, I think if you abuse it. Giving it a, a two-year warranty really means they stand behind it. Uh, one of the things I do before I buy something like this is I'll call the company themselves. I'll call boss, and I, I want to see if I can actually get through, through to customer service. Because uh, if you can't get through it to, let's say, technical support um, before you purchase it, you're probably not going to be able to get through to them if you have a problem after you purchase it. So I called Boss. I actually couldn't really get through the sales department, but when I called for the technical support department, they picked up. It was no, it, it was really very user friendly. In fact, at first I called, they, I left a message once, and then I, I called them back, and they picked up right away. And then they, and then I spoke to someone, and then they called me back based on my message. So I spoke to actually two different technical support people at Boss, and I asked them about their, uh, about their different splitters, the five, or the seven, the 10, which they recommended. And I think it's always a good idea to do that because what, what they told me is they said, look, I, you know, we think our, our splitters are very good, um, but we know, and I asked them, which has like the fewest issues? And they said that the eight ton unit has, you know, far, uh, they, they almost never have a problem with it. Uh, and part of that is because they, they said the 8-ton is much he more heavy-duty than the 7-ton. And that was, you know, I looked it up online, and actually, I think the 7-ton weighs about 120 pounds. And I think the 5-ton also weighs about 120 pounds. The 8, the, so the 7-ton weighs about 120 pounds, and, and the 8-ton weighs about 200 pounds. 
and so does the 10 ton, also weigh a little bit over 200 pounds, as I recall. So, um, and they explained to me, they said that the piston in the 8 ton is much more heavy duty than the 7 ton, and it's just built better. So, it was a little bit more, what was, I mean, I, I'm really looking for something that's a good tool. I only hope to buy it once. Um, maybe my kids will inherit it one day, um, though, uh, because they're a reaction to me, they'll probably just sell all my stuff on eBay. But in any event, that's another uh, story, not for this video. But the point is, um, th they really seem to say, go with the 8-ton. Uh, so uh, that made sense to me. The other reason, they said, is this unit uh, with the other units, uh, um, and this could be changing, there's like a vent. You need to open up a vent before you use it. So it's before you, each time before you use it, not each stroke, but each session, you have to open up the valve and let this air pressure go out. I'm not sure I fully understand, but basically air gets in there, and if you don't vent it and you use it, the pressure pushing the air could blow out the seals and damage the product. So basically you'd have to change the seals and the fluid would leak out, there's all kinds of problems. So you have to do that. With this unit, they say no. They integrated in the oil level check uh, an automatic valve. So the valve just lets out any air, then it gets expelled automatically. So that was good. The other thing I liked is the 8-ton has two... Well, it has two cutting devices, so instead of just pushing against one side, the wood, it, you can push it, it'll go to one side, and then on the other side, there's, a, there's also a, uh, like a, an axe, basically, and it, you can push it then, reverse it, and push it on the other side. So you don't have to keep retracting the head, you can cut it in either direction, and I thought that was, that, that was a good feature. I also bought, but I didn't get it yet, um, I've heard mixed reviews of a four-way cutter so that you can cut one, pushing it one side, it'll cut it four ways. Um, I don't know if that's good, but the, the, uh, the person at the, uh, at the website, not boss, it was very direct, they said uh, that th there was a use to it. They said buy one, you can put it on one side, and if you really like, you can get another one. All right, so I bought one, I haven't got it yet. They said there'd be a delay in shipping. Okay, so aside from the cost of it, you can also pay for you know, what's called lift gate service. I don't know if you're familiar with it. Uh, basically, um, they may charge you more if they have to take it off the truck for you. So uh, I think it was like a $30 fee. It's not a lot, but um, I decided whatever. I figured I'd just rather give the driver some money, give him a tip and let him get it off the truck. And So I opted for no lift gate delivery. So when I did that, I got an email from the, uh, the seller it was a very, really great email that said, look, you don't need it, but if they do lift it, or if the, the truck driver lifts it off the truck um, for you, even if he says we won't charge you, you they will charge you, and they're going to send you a bill for $100 for taking it off the, uh, the truck. <laughs> they said, unless when you accept delivery, you have to write on the receipt, uh, no lift gate used then they won't charge you that fee. So whatever, the guy came, it, so they, how do they ship it? I'm in New York, they shipped it UPS uh, freight. Now UPS trucks only come with a lift gate. They're not coming without a lift gate to lift and lower it. So the guy came, he was very nice, really a great guy. He, uh, he put on the lift gate, lowered it down, rolled it into my uh, garage. I, I gave him a nice tip, you know, he was happy, I'm happy and whatnot. I think that pretty much covers the, uh, the uh, purchase part of it. But basically, even speaking to the seller, they said, boss has a corner of the market. Go with the boss one. Uh, you know, you'll be very happy with it. Um, so I think I will be with the two-year warranty. And I I've never seen packaging like this. As I said, I opened it up just to check for damage. Uh, but I, I didn't really look inside. But I wanted to show you around. Um, it's... I can't even describe it. It's it's in this steel frame. It's in a box with styrofoam, um, and then there's a steel frame around it. Uh, I've never seen anything shipped like that, but maybe you have. So um, we have to remove this thing, and I know and over here it's, it was dented in the uh, bar. But so I give a, qu a quick look inside, and it's not damaged at all. So let's just see. Try to get this off. I notice a bolt over here. We'll work on that and uh, let's take that off. Okay. 
Okay. And what's nice about just this electric unit, even though I know the gas is more powerful, I don't use it that much. So, and we have electric here, so I just think that it's a lot more convenient than having to deal with the gasoline. You know, you can just take it out, split some wood, put it back. You don't have to worry about the carburetor issues or draining the carburetor. It's just a lot easier. It's one bolt. And on the other side is another bolt. So we'll take that off. anything packaged like this but taking off the two steel bolts and oh there's more oh there's four of them oh my gosh I didn't even notice All right, so we got the bolts off. Let's take out some styrofoam. I really pack a lot of styrofoam. to protect the unit. Okay, so here we are. Let's take a look. Uh, maybe a little rubbing over here. 
label got rubbed off, but that's it. I don't see any damage. Yeah, we got a little rubbing action. Everything looks good. Um, nothing obviously broken. That's great. Okay, so we have over here the manual. Nothing looks damaged. And um, I'll give you a quick view of it. See, there are two cutting blades, one here, they're pretty sharp. Uh, another one there. Big motor. Is there a reset switch on the motor? I'm not sure. There's a big piston in there. See. If you can see, it's the motor. Huh. Is, there re is there a reset switch on the motor? I don't know. Oh yeah, though well, this switch is probably it. Okay. Yeah, it's a big piston in there. Right. Very beefy, very heavy. Okay, so let's see what we got here. I guess we should read the instructions. That would help. First of all, we got this handle. I presume it goes over here. Yeah. Well, that's good. It's removable, so you could just park it. It'll fit easily. Neutral. You can pull it to the left or push it to the right. That's good. And there's something like a, I don't know, like a dipstick. And then there's a good. Allen key, which is important. The Allen key, I think, is for checking the fluid levels. So, my only not a complaint, but just would be nice if there was a place to hook it on. You know, like because you need the Allen key, so hooking it on would be useful. Hmm. Look at the bottom. Ah, if I could show it to you. Ah, hold on. Try to focus it. Only so much you can do with one hand. See those, look at those hydraulic lines, the motor. Pretty beefy. Everything looks very solid. It, it's very heavy. So electricity is, the motor is just pumping the hydraulic fluid over there. That looks good. All right, so I don't really like reading instructions, but I might have to. Obviously, there's a piece over here that goes somewhere. I guess it's over here. Yeah, because these screws are loose. You can see it. Alright, that's probably what this is for. So I didn't get the four-way splitter, but I'll try to at least update you guys by text, uh, in the text, in other words, 
as to how it's how it's working. Oh. Oh, I see. Oh, okay. So it's been preset by the manufacturer. Check oil level as necessary. It uses AW32 oil, which is common for these types of uh, units. Oh, and the bottom of this is wood, actually. It's standing on a piece of wood. So they're really putting a lot of effort into the shipping. They don't want this damaged. And that's really a good thing. I think a lot of times the packaging reflects the quality of the product. When a company really wants to put a lot of effort into a product and uh, give you a high quality product, then a lot of times you can see it in the shipping. It's just, they care for it more. You gotta line this thing. Come on. Hmm. Ah. I need a screwdriver, but whatever, we'll figure it out. So I'll get these four in and uh I'll get you back on. Okay, so we got that on, and um, this is the handle. And it says to lift it up. Oh, this is heavy. Team lift, all right. I really shouldn't lift it on there, but whatever. Um, now, show you a view of it. Actually, now you can see the bottom pretty well. I guess for each way, right or left. Let me get some light. There's the handle that controls the, probably the two-way valve. There's the motor. All right. Just hydraulics. Now, when I spoke to them on the phone, they said, this one, you don't have to vent out. It's automatic. I don't know. I mean, there's something over here. I don't know what that does. Huh. Let me just feel it. Well, I can't really open it. I think actually it looks like, you know, maybe that's the automatic vent because I the key fits in, but I can't really turn it. Uh, it looks like it does something, so maybe it is an automatic uh, air expeller. And then the oil, oh, uh, well, you can't, I don't think you can check the oil with it up. No. I hate to sound like an idiot, but. All right, let's bring it back down. At least we got a good look at it. It is heavy. I don't know if I said that enough times, but anyway, I think you check the oil there. I don't know if I can do that. Let's see. Okay. Here's the cover. Comes with this little
But I'm a big believer in, in checking the oil. You always want to check the oil. You never know what you'll find. I don't think it just push it, just press, press it in and it locks. Right, let's get some, it doesn't screw on. Let's pop it out. It's over here. Pitch. Doesn't say where it should be. Hmm. Looks like it might be a little low. I spoke to them and they said that they're well, very nice. They said if it doesn't come with enough hydraulic fluid, they said they had gotten a batch like that, that they would reimburse you for buying the fluid. Okay. Using a lift handle, stand it on the end. Oh, it does say stand using lift handle, stand the wood lock splitter on the end with the wheels. Um the problem is these instructions are like for a different, it's like their standard one. It doesn't really relate to this one. All right, it says to check it with the, the standard on the end of the wheels. All right, so we could try that. I'll put something on the so it doesn't get scratched. And we'll put this back in. It does actually look like it might be a little low, but whatever. I'll ask them. I'll pull them up. That seems to be the only way to go. Okay, so let's bring this back down. I'll ask them. The manual is not that helpful because it... Uh, figure 7. The, uh, let's see, figure 7. 6, 7. Uh, it, it might be okay. It's, it's hard to tell from these things, but it's interesting. All right. Yeah, I think that, that big bolt that I couldn't open before, that's how you drain the oil. But in any event, let's just take a look at it. We'll test it out in, we'll just test that indoors and then we'll try it out on some wood. All right, so I got it plugged in. Let's get a good look at it. Uh, hold on. A lot of these videos, you don't realize the lighting you have to work on. Just so you get a good video. Okay, I think I lost some video, but basically, I checked the oil, and the oil looks okay. I took a look at it, and let's see where we are. So, this is a two-way log splitter, so you should be able to move it both ways to split. Okay, that's better. Okay. Now I got it plugged in. Let's move the handle back and forth. 
Oh, there's a button here. Got to press the button. So it seems to work. Uh, seems to work. We'll test it outside. I don't know if we need to build up pressure. Uh, one thing I know and uh, that I wanted to do is this. Um, I actually learned uh, in physics, not not me. I'm actually teaching my daughter. Um, I learned from her work that uh, what push it when you're pressing an object in one direction, uh, what what's pushing back at you is friction, and the friction is. I mean, I guess it's pretty obvious. Is over here is the fact that it's going to be pushing back and on here. So what I decided to do is to hit it with some silicone. It protects it from, it'll protect it from any kind of from humidity and it'll also make it slippery so that it won't, um, so that it, the, the wood will just slide off, will slide around it. It's interesting, they have it come out so the wood splits. Um, so I would just put some on here, and then just you know, rub it on a little bit. I'll throw more outside so I don't get it all over the glass floor. But the point is, just a little bit of um, the silicone. Should make it should make the wood slide right around it. Okay. 
replace that. Okay, so we'll bring it outside and uh, we'll test it out. All right, let's turn it back on. trying to figure out how to use this thing, but let's see. might be just be too big for it to break.
suspect is a knot in the wood. Oh, that's better. So it does take some getting used to. Um, center was very solid and it couldn't break it. I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut it up one more time. This is why I don't think the four-way is really going to work much, unless it's a softer wood. before it's at the end. Then just, what's good about this two ways is just keep swapping it back and forth. Alright, if you do that, it, if you get that sound, it resets. It kind of shuts off the motor. Um, which is fine. That's what you have to get used to. Um, don't push it all away and hold it. Um, that, first, that big one was a little tough for this, but I did it a little bit towards the side and then it cracked. It just seems like a very solid wood. And it's also very, it's very wet. The wood is, was just cut, the tree was just cut down.
seems to be working much better. was just cut down. It's oak. It's very dense. Um, so where are we? Well, as you can see in the beginning, there's something of a learning curve here. In the beginning, I was having some problems. For some reason, the machine was shutting all. It, it just, I think, it, I think when you, if you press it and it can't move forward for like a second or two, it kind of goes in shutdown mode and you have to reset the motor. Um, it seems that I may also not have waited for it to build up enough pressure because once I started going, it really started cutting beautifully. So it looks like there is something of a learning curve here, but I have to tell you, I'm very pleased. Oh, it's dirty in there. Uh, it really, I have no problem cutting up the logs, even the biggest logs. The first one was a problem, I don't know why, uh, but I think that, um, it, if there's a problem, you kind of offset it and you can cut off part of it piece at a time. But it's cutting the wood well. It's a very heavy, very solid product. I should hopefully get a good use for it for a long period of time. And uh, I mean, so far I would recommend it. I'll keep you updated on it over the long haul. But this is just very heavy. I mean, the steel here is, is thick. I mean, it's really thick and, and strong. So I would recommend this, uh, this, especially if you can get it competitively online. Um, that would be that would be great. If you have any questions, comments, uh, just put it down. I don't. Obviously, I'm a newbie at this. I've never used this before. So uh, you know, hopefully, I did it the right way. But uh, any comments, put it up. We certainly uh, recommend uh, welcome. And uh, when I get the four-way, I'll test it out and uh, I'll update you guys.
take care. One last look. It does get dirty though, I will tell you. <laughs>